Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. I've decided this is going to be the run. This is going to be the run where I get the parasite. We're going to take Kane because he's got that luck foot. I mean, I know that doesn't really help us out. But it's the kind of thing that, you know, it's the kind of placebo I can get behind. Let's put it that way. We're going to see if we can continue our good luck, or actually our good play, I suppose, from the past few videos. And by that I mean... We'll see if we can't shoot this poop. We can't because Kane is shooting out of his other eye, apparently. Wouldn't have thought that the game would actually code for that, but in any case, that means it's going to be impossible. I guess we can shoot this poop down here in the bottom left corner. Not that we can even... bottom right, sorry. Not that we can even open up that little rocky cavern there, but anyway. So, kind of strange. I guess we did just figure out that Kane actually is shooting out of his right eye. And hopefully, we'll be able to find the parasite. I have, I have people telling me on Steam, and they're like, Northern Lion, you can find it in the Devil Room, you can find it in the Item Room, Apparently I can't. We got Mr. Mega, increased blast damage, which is good because it gives us five extra bombs. Should have doubled the chances. Especially with like 150 hours played in this game. Now I actually only have like close to 80 hours, but still that's a lot. Three full days of my Isaac life, or of my, of my actual life, have been taken up with the Binding of Isaac and I have yet to find that one item. I played this more than a Final Fantasy game, and it's deeper than Final Fantasy 13. 12 cents, we could possibly go to the shop, depending on what kind of items we come across, and whether we have enough money, and enough keys to get in. You know what, for one bomb, I will go for that pill, we'll see if, it, if it's something good. Telepills, well, it works for me. Is that the parasite? Oh my god. Is that it? I've never seen that before. Guys, I think this could be it. We gotta play the Zelda music, I'll edit it in afterwards. There we go, the parasite! Okay! I've never seen it before, my shots are all orange and... They split when they hit something? Alright, that's kinda cool. I guess this is actually costing us money, but that's fine, I'll take the relic. I can't believe it. Two minutes into this video. Was I right or was I right? Anyway, we'll see if we can... Figure out what the parasite actually does. Uh, looks like it splits the shots when they hit. Which may or may not be useless. It's hard to tell right off the bat here, but it's certainly interesting. We'll put it that way. I can't believe I found it. I guess we'll find out when I die if I get the Golden God achievement. I definitely do have every single item now. Yeah, the Parasite seems like a half-decent item. Oh, Lord. Very nearly took some damage there. And who would have thought that I would have gotten it on the uh, I Am Arrow room as well, right? Oh, how did I take damage there? I was, I was too busy being enamored with my own... <laughs> In my own place in the game right now. Oh, I might actually die like two seconds into this. I'm just too excited right now. I can't believe I actually... It boggles my mind that I finally managed to accomplish this goal that I had absolutely no control over. Let's fight the boss. We'll go back and get whatever the item is after we finish. So this is... It's kind of a nifty item. I'm not sure exactly how... I should be attacking with it. It looks pretty cool on my face, though. I gotta, gotta admit that. Not sure it's gonna help us very much in fighting Larry Jr. It might be good in conjunction with, well, obviously increased damage, but maybe in conjunction with like a, a triple shot, because then we would have, we would just be like filling the screen, or a piercing shot. I'm not sure how that would work, but certainly it'd be better than nothing. Get our HP up. We'll get a spirit heart. We'll continue onwards here. Cool beans. I've uh, gotten every single item in the game now, and it only took me, again, three days of my Isaac, or my real life. I kind of don't even know what to say anymore. I've been hyping this up for so long. Oh, gross. Kind of looks like my guy is a rat tail or like a faux hawk. I'm glad I got it with Kane, because Kane's been in my doghouse for a while now. But now he is in... What's the opposite of, the, of a doghouse? A house dog? A cat house? A real house? I don't know. What am I? I was gonna say, a, a cementologist? That's someone who studies semantics, not someone who studies sperm, you sick bastards. Got a lot of money. I should probably stop by the shop, but I want to make sure that I get a second key. Oh lord. So that I can go to the item room as well. Let's use one bomb to figure out what the heck's in this chest. Hopefully another key. Well, more money. What do we have from the item room? Monstro's Tooth, I could use the space bar item. Yeah, and hopefully we come across a key at some point here. 
Uh, you dude, you fucking dickhole! Ah uh, man, that was that was terrible on my part. And continues to be terrible on my part. I'm very nearly dead. Shit ain't gonna go down like this. This ain't how I go. Oh, the bomb! The bomb is up there! This should not be such a difficult fight. Please. Wrath. Fucking figure it out, man. Yeah, blow yourself to Kingdom Come. There, oh. Come on. Come on, there we go. Hey, Mr. Boom. Now, I got a lot of people ragging on me for not liking Mr. Boom. They said Mr. Boom is one of the most overpowered items in the game. So maybe I should be using it more often. 30 cents, but sadly no bombs, so I can't go down and buy something from the shop, unless maybe this poop contains something that I was not familiar with. I got this hard, sadly cannot bomb my way into that room either. Maybe the fire, maybe I'll get lucky. Well, oh, there's some money. Probably hot as hell, burn the shit out of my hands, but oh well. I got the parasite! He said for the 30th time and headed down to the next floor. Slot machine. Doesn't appeal to me that much. We'll play it one time. Okay, we'll play it two times. Funny joke. And then we'll blow it up. We'll use our uh, Mr. Boom here. Picked up another two cents out of that. And a heart that, you know, who knows? That might come in handy. Lots more money in this room as well. This is obviously one of my favorite rooms because it's four cents for the low, low price of absolutely nothing. So we'll pick up that fourth cent here and then run away. Because otherwise, we're gonna get our ass kicked. And in fact, I kind of am getting my ass kicked on this ring. Parasite isn't really endearing itself to me right now. But maybe in the future, who knows? Maybe I'll get the item that makes it that makes split shots so fucking effective. What do we have here? Well, it's something I can't even access. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we'll get lucky and this will be the secret room down here? Wow. That was lucky. I picked up another nine cents out of it. I would love to get another bomb so I could just bomb my way into the shop. I suppose I should have waited until Mr. Boom was recharged, because now I have to bomb my way into the secret room again. But now I know with one key or two bombs, I can get to that shop, I believe. So, all is not lost. And in that shop, maybe we can buy a battery. All right, let's just go to it right now. And if we can buy a battery, then we don't have to worry about bombs too much, because we'll have a, a shit ton of Mr. Boom. Regular bomb. Get in here. Mr. Boom. Going to the shop. The greed is there, I swear to god. Okay. What do we got here? Spirit Heart. Map and Spelunker. Let's see. We'll just take the map. Which I believe shows us where the secret room is anyway, so there's no need to buy Spelunker after that. And then we know that the item room is probably directly up. No, no, nothing is directly up, in fact. Again, there's a chest that I cannot get to, but maybe I'll be able to get to it in a second when Mr. Boom recharges. We'll see. Ah, there's a bomb in there. I could, I would love to have it. We got our Zambi here. There's our bomb. There's a Mr. Boom. So we'll use our Mr. Boom here because save our actual bomb, just in case we uh, get rid of Mr. Boom at the item room. Not that we're ever going to get a key again anyway, but let's fire our guns into here. Split shot actually seeming to occasionally do a little bit extra damage, but not very often. Now this, oh, it's the boss. I was hoping that was going to be the item room. Well, suppose if Mr. Boom is going to recharge after this room, well, then, we should fight the boss right away. Yeah, we'll fight the boss right away, because I'll use Mr. Boom against it. Just in case, you know, I pick up something else from the item room. Oh, this is a, it seems like a perfect boss to use Mr. Boom on. He says as he walks into the very boss that he's trying to kill. Beautiful play so far. We use strength, because it brings all our stats up for one room. And Gertie tends to be a pain in the ass. Not necessarily difficult, but certainly takes a long fucking time to kill. Luckily, 
luckily I've got it locked into a pretty beneficial pattern right here. Shots splitting all over the place, not sure what good it's doing, but hey, could be worse. I could have still not had the parasite at this point. Alright, you're dead. And this nub is also dead. I'll take the HP upgrade. We'll bypass that shaft, as I al always do, and go to the item room, which has to be, yeah, right over here. Again, split shot. Seemingly worthless right now, but I'm still just elated to have received it after such a long wait. We're like video 90, 91 here, I can't even remember. More videos than a six-year-old can count to. Well, maybe me when I was six. Great, we got a bomb bag, which is a good upgrade to have at this point. We got this little protist hanging out here on our head. What's up, buddy? Eating our brains. Good thing I got that helmet on. Funny, I probably should have gone to the secret room right off the bat. Because why not? Then we'll go to the arcade. Because really, I mean, normally I like to not go to the arcade, save my money for the shop, but I don't have any damn keys. So this is really the only option for us right now. Should we want to go to the shop or the item room? Alright, just keep playing here until we win at least like two or three keys. We'll probably win some more bombs, incidentally. Maybe we'll have a chance to go to the blood bank, who knows. Whoa, pretty good for bombs there. And there's more money, more potential bombs. Alright, almost blew yourself up there. Bad gas pill from the slot machine. Keys, 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 please. I feel like I was writing a children's book right there. Alright, we're down below 30 cents, which means one item from the shop, unless the steam sale is there as well. What just hit me? Did I get hit by something right there? Terribly bad luck. Kane, you have the luck foot. You're supposed to be winning non-stop here. Another bad gas pill. Pretty much worthless. Hey, there's some health for us. Get back to regular health. Although I could really use a key, a, a long, thin object you can put in a lock in order to open it. Got six cents out of that. Hey, that was pretty good. Okay, yes, I'm, I want to give you my money. I want to give you my funny paper. Oh my god, thank the lord, a single key. I can choose to go to the item room or the shop now. Really not paying out as much as I would like. Shell guy. Oh, thank god. Okay, now we can open some chests and shit, too. I'll play until I have 15 cents left, because I you know, want to spend that money at the shop. Presumably. Hey, there's another spirit heart for us. And a fly that actually hurt us. Gotta stand a little bit further away, I guess, when I lose. Now, this key would be a, a coup de grace. A coup de grace. Now, sadly, this is our last plays. We picked up a bomb, and we picked up three hearts, so we can play the blood bank three times. Two. Hey, there we go. Only needed to play it twice. And then, should we blow these guys up? Yes. Neither of them? Alright, well, you're lucky pill. Probably something damaging. Hey, health up. That's actually not damaging at all, is it? A few more bombs and some more money. That was a good arcade. Plus we got this bad gas pill that we can do absolutely nothing with. Down here. Ah, it's not really that useful. The mob trap room isn't what I'm looking for. Now that I have bombs and keys, I don't have to worry about that so much anymore. Oh, could easily be flanked here. I got lucky to get out of it. Bombs. Chest I'm not going to open. Boss room right away. So yes, we will fight in this boss room just because Mr. Boom is going to be ready. And if we could actually shoot the TNT, it would make our life a whole lot easier. Mr. Boom's ready. Who are we doing with here? Fistula. Alright, well. Not a very good boss to be fighting with Mr. Boom. We'll just put Mr. Boom right there. Probably should have waited until it was in its next form. Can I even... It takes me like 10 shots to kill these silkworms. <clears throat> Should be placing another bomb, possibly. Just to make things easier on myself. 
Get out of- oh my god. Get, get, ah, there's no corridor for me to take here. There we go, okay, there. Oh, lost my spirit heart, but that's okay. I got the relic. I think the relic will actually drop one on this room. Just a hunch. Attila the hunch. Jabba the hunch. All those famous hunches. Very nearly died there. Okay, we gotta range up. That's something. And then we'll make our way back to both the item room and the shop. Now feeling a little bit more confident about my chances here. Run might be a success for more than the fact that I got that item I've been looking for for weeks, seemingly. I guess I was looking for Mom's knife for a long time as well, but... Feels like this, the search for the parasite has gone on longer than the search for Mom's knife. Correct me if I'm wrong editor of the Northern Lions Let's Play for the Binding of Isaac wiki page. Spirit Heart. Oh, so I was one room off with that Spirit Heart prediction. Whoa! Got like a, an electric rainbow of headless or bodiless guys in here. These guys need to go to the body shop, right? <laughs> Get it? Because they, they don't have any bodies. It's like a pretty obvious joke. I'm surprised you didn't think of it. Okay... This guy's dead, new tarot card, hero font, means two spirit arts, get the bad gas pill again, shop or item room, probably here. Indeed, we do have the shop, and greed, just in time to piss me off. If we could just, go for if Mr. Boom, murder him. That went really well, actually. And our tarot card is the stars, that's a uh, item room pill, so we'll use that right away. Attack fly. Could be better. Could be worse. Not much worse, but uh, could be worse. Again, too bad we don't get any experience because we're grinding the shit out of these floors right now. Hmm. Gotta watch out. And with this one dead, we'll be able to move on. Very nearly done. Let's use Mr. Boom here. Looks like we're gonna be holding on to him for a while. Because can't find anything else better. Attack fly, please save my life. Oh god, that's, that's closer than it needed to be. Bomb flies. Probably worth a bomb just to get the heck out of dodge. Oh, but of course now, it's worth fighting them because there's so few left. It gave me a little bit of a recharge as well. So let's just go down and go to the depths part one. Still not really powerful, but feeling a little bit better. Lots of health. And of course, my split shots, which have proven useful so far. And I say that facetiously, of course. Hey, there's our secret room right off the bat. As well as a chest, which we will waste a bomb to get to. And a pill, which... Hey, give us another health up. That was not a waste at all, in fact. The secret room contains the shovel. Wow, well, we could use the shovel pretty much bypass everything, or at least we could bypass the uh, the boss fight on this floor, not that we would necessarily want to. I'm going to keep the shovel because we can use that on the womb, obviously, to uh, set ourselves up in a good position, if you know what I mean. The bomb here, see if I can take out a couple of those guys, at least take them down to ooze state. I haven't really used the shovel very much in these videos, so I'm, I'm going to try to make use of it here. The way I like to use the shovel is beat a boss and then immediately use the shovel so you essentially go down two floors at once. So you can fight whoever the boss is here on uh, the floor, the depths part one, then skip the mom boss fight. We'll be skipping an item as well. In fact, we'll be skipping a few upgrades, but uh. I'll speed up the process, that's for damn sure. So we'll murder this. Oh, finally. Live bomb? No, thank you. Sadly, I don't want to be here, but it's all right. This room shouldn't be too bad. That's what I was hoping for, get a few of those bomb flies at once. And the laser bullet flies. Very good. Now, if I was an item room or a shop, where would I be? I suppose I would be down here in this lower terminus. Two headless guys. No, dude, you never cross the streams like that. 
Or walk into the fire like a dumb idiot. Key for us. Hey, there's the item room. Would love to bypass this room, so I'm just gonna plant a bomb. Hopefully take out a single leaper. Alright, I do wish I did. Gotta get the fuck out of here. This champion is taking some damage. What's our pill? Have a good luck with pills so far. Yeah, increased range. It's better than the time I had the PhD. Aw, oh, great item. We got increased damage now. And I guess we're just gonna go try to find the shop and the boss now. Fight the boss, use the shovel immediately on the next floor. Oh, come on, I just got scissors like Xerxes there. <laughs> come on, are you kidding me? I got damage up, how many shots is it gonna take me to murder guts? It should take like one shot. Not five shots, good lord. There's our shop. Five shots, five shots. We just actually... Man, a parasite's actually pretty bad as an item, but it'll always have a special place in my heart. Revelations, no. Compass, yes. So we're in speedrun territory right now. I mean, went pretty slow through the first part of this. But now, between the compass and the shovel, I should be able to really speed things through. Especially if I manage to get, like, brimstone on this devil uh, deal, which I will probably get here. Even though I have taken a kind of an absurd amount of damage. Oh, what do we have here? Spirit hearts and some more bombs and money. See what we can get out of this boss fight. Loki, uh, Loki tends to drop, uh, I think he drops whatever, basically. He doesn't drop anything specific. Which is good, because Loki's horns is one of my least favorite upgrades. Taking some dumb damage so far. It's okay, we'll just keep hammering away at him, watching out for his bombfly armada. And if they can do damage to him, then all the better for us, really. Just keep firing away at these guys. Actually going really well so far. Loki can't cope with it. He can't even hit us from that position. We still got two more flies. Ah, oh. well, HP upgrade. What do you got for us, Satan? Nail? Well, that's pretty damn tempting, actually, as is nine lives. But instead, we're gonna say sucks to that. And uh, you know, we're gonna go to the item room here. And then, we're just going to drop down to the next floor. Could speed things up a little bit by just immediately dropping down to the next floor, obviously. But I would love to see what this next upgrade is. We will skip by the mom boss fight, though. I could speed things up oh, even more by just bombing my way through all these rooms. Where's the fun in that? Oh, 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 oh god. Seems like I'm taking a lot of damage on this run by things walking into me. Or flying into me, or leaping into me. Make up your mind with your modes of transportation. One more room, then the item room. Ah, brain guys, whatever. Oh god, they're, <laughs> they're hemming me in! I'm sorry I said whatever! Yo, I walked into a room there were a bunch of brain guys, and they were like, we're gonna get you. I was like, yeah, whatever! Go and into the item room for the D6, which means we're immediately going to go down to the next floor because that's utterly worthless at this point. Now we only have to live through six rooms here. Judgment, what's up, buddy? I took some damage to get to you. You better be good to me. That's that's decent. Oh man, I took a lot of damage to get to him. Deal with the vaginal worms. I had vaginal silkworms once. The end. I have this friend who is actually back up backstory here. Hopefully he's not listening, and if so, I'll remove his name, but I have this friend who's convinced that he has these things called butt worms. Essentially there's these like parasitic worms that live in your butt, and the only way to tell if you have them is to shine a flashlight into your butt and then you see all the worms squirming away. Bear with me here. Uh, apparently the only symptom is that your ass gets itchy. So if you're scratching your ass while you're listening to this right now, I'm sorry, but you might have butt worms. Just like my friend who shall remain nameless. And that's the end of that story. Probably just go see a doctor if you're concerned. 
or an entomologist. Worms aren't insects, but still. Finally, kill this Diglett. Only a few more rooms to go before we can shovel our way out of this dump. I can't believe I got hit there. Mom, when I turn 16, I'm gonna buy a shovel and dig my way out of this dump. Oh, shit. <laughs> terrible room. And even more terrible execution of said room. But I think I'm gonna be alright. Surprisingly, only took one heart of damage on there. Oh, and this is a shitty room as well, since apparently Guts takes 55 minutes for me to fucking kill. Not to mention these Diglets as well. Good lord. There we go. So we got one more. And we'll shovel our way out of here, down to the next floor. Kind of an unorthodox run through Isaac, isn't it? Again, we need to six rooms here. And we can skip by Mom's heart. Excellent. One brain guy down, one brain guy to go. And really, skipping by Mom's heart isn't a big deal, but skipping by all these other rooms in the womb really is. I can't use the shovel after the Satan fight. Or, like, for the Satan fight, because obviously I have to go fight Satan. Oh, got a speed upgrade there. That all happened very quickly. Oh, fucking sis. That means we're in fucking bomb territory right now, if I could just find a good place to put it. Shoot it into them? I think I got two of them right there. In fact, I'm almost directly at the boss. But fighting the boss doesn't give me anything, so there's no incentive for me to actually go through with that mom boss fight. Just, there we go. Get another spirit heart. Gives me a chance against Satan, although, n albeit not a good one necessarily. Okay. You're going to just throw down a bomb right there. Hopefully take out something. Well, we took out the big brain. Generally not a huge... Oh, walked on the creep. Forgot I'm not flying like I was last video. Two more rooms before we can use our shovel and get the hell out of this dump. This is a serious problem for me because I can't dodge very well because of the creep. Oh lord. Oh, get out of there! This is a terrible setup for this uh, my circle strafing technique. I can't believe that managed to work out half decently. And with only one more room to go. I chose probably poorly, but hey, we'll use a bomb. Just maybe knock these guys out to their next state a little bit more quickly. Fire a bomb in there from long distance. That's what I love about bombs, is that you can like plant one right at your feet and just fire away. Knock it into the into combat. Tarot card, here a another two spirit hearts. Take our bad gas pill back and use our shovel. Womb part three! Don't hold out a lot of hope here, but it's certainly possible we can skip by a lot of rooms here by going to the secret room. Three cents is pretty much worthless, but still. I should come out up here. Oh, of course. I think, honestly, our best chance here. Blow everything up. Get the fuck out of here. I certainly don't want to fight two Loki. Lokis? Losai? Oh, God, you can't blow your way into the bomb room, I forgot. Let's poison gas one of them. Bomb the shit out of the other one. Come on. Oh, fuck me. This this is a disaster right here. Ah! He just poked my head out for a second and he got me. Loki, you should be dead! You're not- you're still not dead? Not even Loki number one? Oh lord, this seems like the end. Ah, the bomb! <sighs> but anyway, we got the parasite. Let's go back to the main menu. Golden God achieved! You are the best. Yeah, I know it. Let's go check out our collection here. Well, we don't really need to because we know we have fucking everything. It took me a little while, but still. I'm impressed with myself. There is every item in the Binding of Isaac. But I'll be back for some more leisurely playthroughs at your guaranteed pace. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.